I love you very much and thank you very much. Very much. How you doing, man? Oh, man good. good to see you. Hey, Jamie? Dom, I said, no, I saw Norm, Norm down there. I said, Norm, let's go out. Hey, what have you been doing, man? Are you, uh, are you doing a lot of stand-up? Oh, man, I'm doing a lot of stand-up. <laughs> are you? Yeah, yeah. Hey, you been in Canada at all? No, I hate Canada. They really? kicked him out of Canada. Did you know that? He's Canadian. No, yeah. but did they won't let him in Canada. No, I don't believe no, that. No, that sucks yeah. compared to America. Why would you go back? I can just bring my mom up to America when she wants to. Where's she at? Canada. I know, but what town? It's like, it's so bizarre. It's like this regular country, and then it's right beside the States, which is like the best country by a million miles, like a million times better than yours, but some people stay. Well, Montreal's fun. It's all right. Well, I've got to tell you, there is some nice, memorable uh, story about Norm MacDonald. Oh, well, uh, here we go. Norm MacDonald, <laughs> first, first, first time he came in town. Yeah. He was one of... He was a Mountie. Nice. He was he's a Canadian still, Mountie, I believe. He's still a nice guy. He came in. He's really... I mean, people, they don't know the other side of him. He's really... What the, the other side, side of him? <laughs> what? 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 Let me explain <laughs> it. <laughs> they only know that opposite side. People, people don't know that, that Norm is a nice true. person. They don't, no. <laughs> a lot of people... You know. No, no, they always see his image on the Saturday Night Live and all of that stuff. <laughs> What's his image? His he image is nice really image. caring. He have, he had a kid. He had a family. He was a wonderful husband. He was a wonderful family. <laughs> What's his husband? So between a faggot and a husband? <laughs> a guy with a kid is a husband, yeah. Norm. No, Oh. I'm only telling the truth. In here, you had a nice son. Jamie's going to tell the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I you were wonderful. No, right you, person, yeah, yeah, you are a good family. No, person. I'm just, yeah, I mean, know. No, I mean, my public think. persona was like. <laughs> There's another side to it. The other side, you're a good I'll person. You a family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Norm MacDonald. What was I doing on stage? Fuck everybody, you know. And the persona, like on Saturday Night Live. Norm updated. Norm goes on a Howard Stern. I gotta tell you something, well, Dom. You don't know. Has, he yeah. goes on a Howard like you do, but he he come across like he's hate NBC. He had Dom do. Dommeyer and, do and people. Yes, he did. I he, did. he I never blamed anybody. Maybe he got Norm mixed up with somebody. I never blamed anybody. You never said on Howard that you couldn't stand uh, Dom Amaro? No, I don't, I don't even know Don Omar. Well, who did you talk to about? about Nobody. About they you had did. a problem with the Queen, didn't you? Queen? Yeah, oh, Queen Elizabeth II. Yeah. yeah, you did because have Because she won like a lottery. She won like 80 bucks in a lottery. Yeah, he had the... Oh, who, Queen Elizabeth won? Yeah, but she said it wouldn't change her life. Any. Normie has a rough edge, but not about being fired. Was, no, I don't get no, it. No, but I... The guy owns yeah. the cameras. What the fuck? Rough Edge. I always thought he was a great but, but guy. He no. Because they said it was about OJ and all that bullshit. Oh, the guy... The fucking guy turned on uh, Leno every night. Leno was getting uh, applause breaks after every joke. He was killing so hard. Then on Saturday night, I'd do it for five minutes get nothing. Why wouldn't the guy fire me? You know what I mean? To him, Who like... Who fire you? Uh, uh, Don Omar was the president. But he's see? like... He saw the guy now. laughing. Listen to me. I'm not blaming him. I'm no. saying I understand completely. If the guy that owns the cameras doesn't like you, what? Who cares? Don's the president of NBC? No, he's he was gone. When he I was fired. fired. He got fired. He's gone. Well, God all... bless his soul. No, they all he died? Fired. <laughs> <laughs> they all get fired. <laughs> I think the... Did he die? Don Omar? No, he didn't Kill die. Him. He's all right. Cool. Norm, are you living out here in New York? Rather live here. Right beside the Larry Flint building. He lived at Laurel County. You know about that. Norm, people they don't know. What don't they know? About I tried, you, to, oh, you I know, tried to make it here. He knows your the, good side, Norm. I tried to make it here for the press conference. <laughs> I couldn't. Why Why do you have to bring that one up again? What's why? Press conference? Michael, the last Richard, time I was here Michael was, Richardson, was before you know? the press conference. I just don't think comics should show up at press conferences. I think he's actually too self-centered to be a racist. You know what I mean? Like racist. So you think it was that he was I, rich? That no, he was I, I think it was like his anger, and he was going at people where he thought he could hurt them because he was so angry. If they were fat, if it was a redhead, he would have said redhead. Red yeah. yeah. If it was fat, he would yeah, say, I don't think his agenda that, right? was against yeah. black people. He, I think he's just crazy. Yeah. Like, and, what if a, a angry, like, fat black American, you know, African American? Cut you off in traffic, right? Yeah, and, and smashed you into the divider. I would still divider. that fucking chink can't drive, because that's my stereotype. 
<laughs> of being bad driving. And I know it was a fucking chick. I don't care if she looks like a, bat, a fat black lady. <laughs> yeah. No, but I know what you mean. You can be a racist at, at that moment of temper when you're really not a racist. Well, what you say is like you go that fat bastard. What does it have to do with being fat? It's like people go black bastard, yeah, so bald yeah, bastard. Yeah. Right? yeah. But I still, I still think no matter what you do, what excuse you give it, I all of us underneath everything, the time anger and it's drinking, Denise. bring it up, what? bring it up in underneath. I guess he doesn't get, he doesn't bomb. Didn't, wasn't he a stand up? Or was he not? He wasn't a real stand up norm. He was like a. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm totally saying, don't you have like years of bombing where you go, oh, well, it's not going well. No, he had no care. chops at all. You know, he just, that's why he was, he was, his best was being Kramer, obviously. Well, I think that guy's Sean Ass, and his best is being Rudy, not up here, man. He's doing stand up, Sean Ass? Yeah, he has him up every weekend. Sean does? You, you love Sean Ass, and I'm, no. Yeah. He's picking on me tonight. Are you serious? He, he yeah. came in. He says, this guy's a fu- He goes, you think he's funny and Rudy? I'm like, no. <laughs> that wasn't even a comedy. He's like, he's it Rudy. He goes, I've never seen him. I'm here every week and I've never seen Sean. Yeah, yeah. Him. Tell him, man. Tell him. Tell, uh, tell him you've never had Sean Aston up there. I like Sean. Nothing, nothing anymore. <laughs> oh, you, know, you know the Sean Aston story. Why, ju- why, why do you pick on me? Anytime you get on wow, air... Everybody always picking on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's my song should be. Why everybody picking on me? Where did you go? Fucking supercuts today? <laughs> no, I mean, it's everybody picking on my haircut. Oh, hey, I mean, tell me about the night that... Jack Benny came in and saw Jeff Joseph <laughs> and Scott LaRose. Jeff, Jack, Jack Benny, he just came John in and he Joseph, never even... You, you were here the night Jeff he came Joseph in? Joseph. Uncle... Uh, Uncle... Milty? Uncle Milty, Milty. Uncle Milty came in, not uh, Jack Benny. Jack Benny. Oh, uh, yeah. Uncle Milty came in. Uh, Jack Benny never came in here. Did you do spot? He uh, liked your material. No, but if he sees your material I'm and he would sure. do your repeat, he said, sure. oh, I do it better and much better. Than I'm hungry, sure. That. I'd be happy to have him do it. I'd be honored. Really? When he was in Montreal, people were like, hey, who, man, he was who, MC. Who, yeah, he was MC in the, like, the fucking show, whatever it was. And, you know, yeah, the, at the so, uh, like, big theater. Yeah, the big theater. So everybody's like, God, he's doing too much time. Like, anybody gives a fuck about it. The guy that's going to, you know, because it's Burl. Then you wanna, wouldn't you rather uh, see him absolutely. in the last couple of years of his life? Then we'll, we'll see Jeff. We'll get, a, we'll get a lot of chances to see Jeff Foxworthy. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> no, we I've got enough of him. <laughs> Norm, are you, uh, are you doing stand-up on the road? What are you doing? A little bit. Once in a while. Not often. Don't like theaters, you know. You been gambling? What do you oh, play? I could tell you stories about Norm's gambling. Like, you like to gamble, right? He loves What do you gambling. play? Yeah, I like your gamble. Poker. Do you play a sports book? Or you, yeah, I play a lot. That's where I've lost most of sports. Sports is tough, man. The NFL's it's impossible. Tough. Impossible. And it seems like it's the easiest one, like the NFL, right? You say, oh, well, you, Lions. You, you, know, you want to give a good easiest. example of the NFL? The guys, the experts, they don't have to deal with the point spreads. And they barely break even. Or yeah, somewhere right. a little over 500. So you know how difficult it is. It's amazingly hard. Yeah. Jamie, what about the guys? Like, fuck, man. You can start. Right, oh, yeah, sure. yeah. So he's like, fuck, man. I lost fuck, 80,000 betting football, you know. I'm going, to, I'm going to college or something, you know, next week. So the next week, you lose like 50,000? Oh. This is a joke. You don't have to be sad. No, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, no, you don't have to laugh either. I just don't want you to be worried that it's an actual guy. So I'm identifying it as a joke. Okay. So uh, the, he goes, then I, I bet college football, you know, I lost... 100,000 on that, so then I switched over for college basketball. I thought I could beat that. And then 150,000, and I'm down like 400,000 in like three weeks. I don't know what to do, you know. And then the other guy goes, There's a great hockey game tonight, you know. And the guy goes, Hockey? He goes, I'm going to play hockey? I don't know anything about fucking hockey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he knows the joke. Yeah, no, wait, 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 I know the joke. Don't call, let him finish it. Oh, the people, so audience. You, audience. Oh, <laughs> audience. I know the joke. Go oh, finish it. No. <laughs> that was it. The that audience, the they don't line. know. No, let him finish no, it. That, okay, that's the punchline. The audience, they don't know. He's, he judges comics every week on Tuesday. Let him finish it. Right after the punchline. No, the punchline is not the audience. They don't know. <laughs> That would be like a postscript to the joke. That's a great, uh, that's a great way to end the jo- joke. Let him finish it.